Our daily lives have changed completely and many of us are pretty much staying home all day, working from home, studying from home, exercising at home, socializing from home, making trendy TikTok recipes from home, and this can all get a little bit old. Being in the same environment every day can get challenging, but we always have the power to choose the lens through which we view our situation. And in this moment, we can use this as a time to work on our mindset. It's okay to look forward to things like, of course, I'm looking forward to when we can all go out again and go to cafes with friends. But rather than simply wishing for time to fast forward, let's instead focus on doing what we can to savor the beautiful moments that are still around us. I was inspired to make this video because I recently watched this video in which Carrie talks about little ways that we can make our life more aesthetic from listening to music to looking at things with a movie director's eye to mindfully going through the emotions of our daily lives. And aesthetic doesn't have to mean trendy, filtered, and staged. The actual definition of aesthetic just means concerned with beauty or the appreciation of beauty. So the question is, how can we live our lives in a way that appreciates all of the beauty around us? How can we take something as mundane as being stuck at home, going through the same daily routines, and infuse a little bit of magic into it. So for today's video, I wanted to try something a little different. You won't be seeing my talking face in this video because I just wanted to take you through my day, a pretty ordinary day of my life, getting some work done, staying home, you know the drill. But I want to show it to you through a lens of beauty and magic and gratitude and show you how you can take a regular day and simply use awareness to experience it in a completely different way. This video is a collaboration with Maha hat from coffee milk i guess you could call it the coffee bean collaboration get it bliss bean coffee milk coffee bean he posts really beautiful study vlogs stationary hauls day in the life videos etc both his youtube videos and instagram posts always remind me to enjoy the little moments so be sure to check out his take on this topic as well my morning routine always makes me feel calm and peaceful. Even if I wake up feeling anxious, it's like a reset button before I get on with the rest of my day. It was especially relaxing today because it was drizzling on and off, which makes for a very cozy day to stay indoors. To change things up, I decided to try some new music while I stretched and did my morning exercises. Then I took a cold shower, got dressed, moisturized my face, and while I was listening to the news, one of the stories was about BTS. So if that's not a sign from the universe that it's going to be a good day, I don't know what is. I've also really been enjoying using these fragrance lotions that I reviewed a while ago. Somehow having just that nice smell around me throughout the day lifts my spirits a little bit. Finally, I journaled for a while, wrote down three things I was excited about for the day, and looked over my plans. I love cooking breakfast. I make the same thing pretty much every day, so the motions of cooking it are so familiar to me that it's almost like a meditation. I always keep some chopped onion and bell pepper in the fridge, so I just saute that baby up. I like my vegetables and toast almost burnt. I add in some garlic salt, pepper, balsamic vinegar, then two eggs, mix it all around the pan, and voila, I think I'm ready to compete on Top Chef. I normally have avocado on toast alongside this, but we didn't have any ripe ones, that's okay, I improvised. I did peanut butter and banana instead, and it was actually really delicious, so I might do this more often. Also, instant coffee, people can rag on instant coffee as much as they want, but after buying a container of it to make Palguna coffee, I've actually developed quite a taste for it, and I didn't even drink coffee before, so that's my quarantine accomplishment, a caffeine addiction. I operate on a different sleep schedule from the rest of my family, so everyone else is always still asleep at this time, and I love that breakfast is just a nice moment of quiet as I start my day. I usually try not to look at my phone, and I just savor the food and the silence and look out the window or something. The first thing I do in the morning is study Korean, which I love because it's so exciting to learn a new language, honestly just learn anything new, and the fact that we can do that for free, or mostly free, by ourselves, even when we're at home through the internet is pretty amazing if you ask me. 
I start with practicing some vocabulary with Anki, which is a tool I'm grateful for because it has been a much needed upgrade from the teeny tiny little flashcards that I used to struggle with. I feel like I'm memorizing words so much faster now, so thank you technology. After vocab today, I'm working on taking notes from the lesson I had with my italki tutor the day before, who I am also so grateful for because she has helped me improve my skills so much. And then the final thing I'm grateful for is Zebra Mild Liners because I think I get a little mood boost whenever I get to use these pretty colors. Normally during my breaks I try to stay away from my phone, but my friends had sent me some quality memes, so I took some time to enjoy those. After that, I did some midweek planning. I do the bulk of my planning on Sunday, so I basically have my week all planned out already, which makes me feel calm and peaceful. And now all I'm going to do is just check up on everything to make sure that things are going well. I made these cute little aesthetic cards to remind me of my routine as well as my other planning routines and I think little things like this just make it more fun to stick with your routines. Take a shot every time I say routine. It's nice to just take a bit of time to myself and check in to see where I'm at and how I'm doing on creating my dream life, whatever that means for me, whatever that means for you. We're all just striving for it. After that, I started editing this week's video and honestly, I'm just grateful that this week's video was easy to edit compared to the how I edit videos nightmare video that I did last week. It's nice to just be able to talk to the camera and talk to you guys for a little bit. It feels less formal. Even though the editing was pretty easy, I still took a few breaks to move around and listen to some energizing music. Around lunchtime, I post on Instagram, which is a good time, not only because of engagement, statistics, analytics, whatever, but because when I'm hungry, there's not much else I can focus on. I'm so grateful for all of my followers, subscribers, anyone who ever stumbles across my content in this big, big world of the internet. I got an especially kind message today where someone shared their journal entry where they wrote about how my channel was helping in their life. So thank you to that person. Thank you, everyone. It truly makes my day. There were a bunch of leftovers in the fridge, so I was grateful to my past self for cooking food. You go, past self. Because usually at lunch, I am just too hungry to have the patience to cook anything. So I picked two dishes. Both were delicious. Lots of pretty colors again. Yay. While I was eating, my dad brought me a package, which was a water bottle from IE University, where I'll be studying communications and digital media next fall. I thought it was just gonna be like a plastic water bottle, but it was one of those really nice metal ones and also the packaging was 10 out of 10. I listened to some voice messages from a friend whom I met while traveling, so that in itself is crazy to think about sometimes, but also the fact that we have technology that gives us the means to still stay in touch even though we live like 4 million, 4,000, whatever it is, miles apart. I've been meditating with the stillness background music on Insight Timer, which is just the sound of like crickets and other night sounds. And it's so calming to me, especially now that school is not in session and the weather is getting warmer. It just makes it feel like one of those summer evenings when my brother and I would play with the neighborhood kids and then make s'mores at our neighbor's house and come home and not worry about waking up early the next day. After that, I kept editing and I'm not gonna lie, I kind of had a creative block. It was such a simple video too and I think the simplicity is actually what made me get kind of stuck with it. So I had a waffle which was delicious but didn't really unblock my creative channel. So then I took a break and then I kind of went on my phone for an hour. So after that, I really felt like I needed an energetic reset and I was kind of tired, but I knew exercise would make me feel better. So I chose something not super intense. I did a fun dance workout. And again, how crazy is it that we can do these workouts for free from the comfort of our own home without ever stepping foot inside a gym. Then I did a blog Pilates abs video, which always makes me sweat like a pig. And that was exactly what I needed to help me feel better. Also, I did not have a weight for this workout, but I had this. I don't even know what it is. I think it's for a plant, like a tiny, tiny succulent. So yeah, luckily I had that on hand. After a really nice refreshing shower, I changed into more comfortable pants. I guess you could call this my evening attire. Dinner was leftovers again, God bless leftovers. And while I ate, I watched Jeopardy with my dad, which is a show that makes me feel kind of productive while watching TV because technically it's an educational show. So I'm learning.
Then I made a cup of tea and took it upstairs because I was going to finish this video, dang it. I set myself up on my standing desk because my butt was starting to hurt from sitting all day. And the break really helped. I think it's really important to know when we need a break because sometimes just grinding it out and pushing when you don't feel like it won't get you anywhere. Sometimes you really need to give your mind some space. So finally, after taking that break, I was able to finish it. I was so proud of myself. I know that going on my phone for an hour seems like a low point of the day and I did feel pretty crappy, but in a way, it should shows how at absolutely any moment in time, be it New Year's resolutions, the start of a new week, or just literally any second of any day, you can make a simple choice and turn your entire day around. So after hitting export on that video, it was Wednesday and I usually read for an hour on Wednesdays. I was currently reading The Universe Has Your Back by Gabriel Bernstein and I'm grateful not only to have a library card that lets me read ebooks for free and learn things from home, but also just for the way that this book specifically has already changed my mindset so much and how it makes me happier and calmer every time that I pick it up. I'm also grateful for my cozy little bed area. It's one of my favorite parts of my room. As we're all in quarantine, I just wanted to give a little bit of inspiration that there's a lot you can do to decorate your room that doesn't require buying things. So. You can put wall art on your walls, like cute postcards, things from magazines, or your own paintings. And this, these are flowers that I got from the dollar store for a photo shoot a while ago, and then I put them in this old kombucha bottle. I finished up that book and ended with lots of notes to incorporate into my journaling and meditation practices, but after all that thinking, it was time to turn my brain off. In the evening, I decided to watch The Office with my dad and my brother, which has always been one of my favorite ways to relax. I actually started watching The Office years ago, and and I'm only just now finishing it up so it has been in the background of my life for many years now and I think that's why watching it just feels so much like home to me it's nostalgic in a way after that I was definitely super tired so I went up to my room and started on my bedtime routine gave myself a little pat on the back for doing all of my habits that day journaled for a while and stretched I hope this video kind of showed you how you can take steps to create little beautiful moments in your days, choose positive thoughts, and choose a mindset that allows you to appreciate everything around you. If you want to learn more about how to design a day in mindful, productive flow, I have some exciting news coming at the end of the month, so there's a link in the description if you want to be notified when that comes out. And yeah, that is it for my little day in the life video. I hope you enjoyed watching it, thank you for watching it, and good night. Thank you.